What goes on there guys, it's your boy Prince Couscous back with another action figure review. This one's not going to be a custom, this is going to be the brand new Mezco 112 collectible, collect, yeah, collective, the Punisher figure. Uh, I'm pretty excited, I just got it, so me opening this is going to be you guys opening it or vice versa. This is my first time opening it. Um... First, before we get into the review, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors over at the Brandon and Isaac Show. Go check them out. Do you like things? And do you like stuff? Well, we do both of those. To prove we're tough. Do you remember that one time when we smashed eggs on our head? No. Ugh. Four by one. Why do you keep doing that? Ugh. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy. And now let's get into this thing. Kind of like a Hot Toys almost. Oh, maybe I should show you the back of this. You can see he has three different heads, um, different, all the different accessories, well, some of the different accessories and stuff he comes with. Uh, I did open the box. I didn't take the figure out yet, but I did slide it open just to see what we got going on in here. So this is the, the box inside of the little slidey thing. You got the Punisher logo. It's Punisher all over. Mar 112 Collective, the Punisher. Marvel, Punisher, Collective, blah, blah, blah. This side is magnetized, which is pretty cool. Keeps it nice and sturdy. And then you get this really awesome artwork. And then here's the figure. Um, I mean, I know it was six inch figure, or it is a six inch figure, but for whatever reason, I was just really, really, really surprised. Maybe it's because of the box and everything, and I've, I have myself one hot toy, and it reminded me a lot of the hot toy figure, so... I was kind of expecting something like that, but uh, la yeah, let's get this bad boy open and check out what is inside. Alright guys, so before we get a look at the actual figure, I want to show you all the accessories that come with it, and I uh, tried this already, and they fell out when I stood it up, so I'm going to keep it laying down. Right in here, let me see, make sure you can see it. Right in here, you get a screaming face, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I feel like that fits the Punisher pretty well. You get a beat up face, which also makes a ton of sense. Trigger hands. Um, I'm not sure what these are. They're like these weird claw hands, maybe. And then in here, you have two different hands. You have like a relaxed hand, and then something that looks like he'd be like punching you in the nose. Um, a knife. This little fire, like a, as if he was shooting. You know, the stuff that you're not supposed to eat. Six of these for his grenade launcher. A pistol and a clip. Some machine gun and a clip. And a rifle and a clip. As well as a display stand. Now let's take a look at the actual figure here. A uh, beautiful figure, and I see why he reminded me of a Hot Toys, like why they have the box designed like a Hot Toys, because he's very much designed like a Hot Toys. Um, so all this in here is all cloth goods. This vest, looks like it's actually probably removable. As well as like the, the belt. The joints are probably, well, no, not probably. The joints are a little weird, and I would be very careful because this is an expensive figure, and I would not want to mess with, like, break anything, you know. Oh, swivel. It's got a boot swivel. Nice. All right. Well, let's take a look at the head that's actually on him. This looks more like a relaxed... I mean, you can see he's got, like, the scar here and on his lips, and he's got a little cut down here but for the most part he looks very relaxed and I would say this is more of an aged Frank um, like he's he's this is a Frank who's been through some shit the paint like even the eyes kind of are kind of glossy which is nice and the paint application is really well done the hair looks good slicked back this figure's awesome. Let's take a look at like the details in here. So up here you got some bullet holes, scratch marks. It looks like maybe you got into a tussle with Wolverine. More scratch marks, some dirt. A lot of good detailing in the belt. 
I mean, every little buckle and everything has a color to it. The, uh, the, the, the what am I, what am I going to talk about here? This here, the straps on his vest are colored. You got a little bit of dirt showing up here and then down on the boots. The boots look really nice too. You got dirt and wear on them. You got all the little buckles and stuff to have color to them. It's a really, really awesome figure, man. So I'm going to give you guys a look at the uh, the other heads because I realized when they were in the back, the in the package, they were kind of hard to see because they still had a little bit of wrap on them. So first off is the battle damaged head. And you can see it's got a big swollen eye. It looks nasty. His mouth, his face is all busted up and stuff. Tape over, or a band-aid over his nose. He's got a big old scratch here, big scratch here. Really good detail. And I like how the hair, like you look at this hair compared to the hair that's on the head. This hair is definitely messier. Makes sense. And then you got the screaming head. Which is basically just an intense franken. It's kind of cool that they keep up with these few things across all three heads. The scratch above his eyebrow and his lip and then this one on the chin. It's pretty good continuity and even this one looks really good too. Really impressed. Let me show you guys how to swap out the head and maybe a hand or two because it's actually pretty easy. I just did it. So the head literally, that's it. Not even like a pop noise and we'll put this head on just for quick. And then there's that. So now you got that head, that head on there, and then you can, the hand pulls off pretty well. Here's a, one of the claw hands that I was a little confused by. Just gotta line it up. Well, it was easy with the other hand, come on. Alright, well, we'll try a different hand then. We'll pull this one off real quick. I'll just pop that one on there there we go so you got Frank with one hand all right so I got both hands on it was actually a lot easier to do once I was holding it close to me it's kind of hard to do with my arms extended and yeah it was super easy it looked difficult obviously but that's more because I was trying to keep it for you guys to be able to see And the head the head's really really easy I mean this one again we'll pull it off I would just recommend grabbing at the neck because I don't know if the neck pops off and you can see it's just a ball joint. And then we'll pop the other one on there. Boom, just like that. So that's pretty nice too. So here I got him holding the, uh, the grenade launcher as you can see and it fits pretty snugly in his hand. I mean that's not, that's not going anywhere. Um, this hand's this kind of open hand. Um, uh, and that might be one of my gripes with it, is that I wish it did come with a, not a closed hand, but like a hand with a opening in it, so that you could kind of have him actually wrap his hand around that little handle. Um, when I opened it and pulled this out, this looked like it was bent, but no, it actually moves, so you can kind of put it up and move it out of the way, as well as it turns here, and then you can put the six grenades into there which is pretty awesome I also put the little knife in his back another gripe that I have like something I wish and I mean it's just kinda nitpicking both of these are but I wish that they would have had some sort of little holster on his leg to put his his pistol what can you do you know beggars can't be choosers and he Articulation is really well. I mean, you can get him to kick up about this high. And this actually doesn't feel like it's going to... Well, I mean, if you pull it all the way, it feels like it's going to rip. But I mean... Or not that it's going to rip, but eventually it'll wear. But I mean, like right here... Frank doesn't do moves like that, so you don't have to worry about it. But otherwise, it's very, very... Like, it's not tight, but it's not too loose. And it just looks good. It moves well. You can see... The ankles move up a little bit. They don't seem to move down too far, but I also don't want to force it. This was a pretty expensive figure. I mean, 
mean, all in all, he's pretty awesome. I'm going to give you a scale, like a size comparison next to... First, we'll start with some Marvel Legends. The Walgreens exclusive. And this is with his legs, like, super straight. The Walgreens exclusive Wa Punisher. I did swap the head on him, though. I've kind of I made that one. And it actually looks like he's a little bit taller. Or a little shorter, sorry. But it might be because the other one's leaning towards the camera. So get him out of there because you're not ever going to use the Punisher with the Punisher. Here he is next to Daredevil. That looks... I don't know. Who's supposed to be taller, Punisher or Daredevil? To me, I think it makes sense for Punisher to be a little bit taller. But you never know. And then... Oops, sorry. And then... Next to an SH Figure Arts Civil War Ant Man. I wish I had a better figure to compare him to, like a more Punisher type figure. But what can you do? He seems to scale well. I would think Ant Man's a little bit shorter. I mean, he looks to be shorter than Daredevil as well. Here he is in kind of a dynamic pose for my last few words. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend this figure. If you have the money for it, though, because this isn't. This isn't like a this isn't a Marvel Legend, you know, this isn't a twenty dollar figure. This guy I think he was eighty bucks plus like twelve dollars shipping. So I mean you're looking at almost a hundred dollars for him, but he was definitely, definitely worth it. He's pretty freaking awesome. Um Mezco just announced a few other new figures that they're gonna be doing, and one of them is Netflix Punish or Netflix Daredevil, sorry. More than likely I'm picking that one up too. Uh because I loved Netflix Punisher, or Netflix Daredevil, uh, Punisher as well, Punisher, that show kind of revitalized my, my hope, and my, how I felt about the Punisher, because I've, I've always liked him, like, even since a young age, I had the old Toy Biz figure, and he was one of my favorites, but I ended up losing him, kind of lost interest in him a little bit, and then he got announced for Daredevil, and I got super stoked again, uh, I, I don't, it doesn't matter, anyways, this figure's freaking sweet, man. If you get the opportunity, definitely buy it. And if you can get it for less than 80 bucks, you better pull the trigger. <clears throat> uh, anyways, I think that's going to do it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your parents, subscribe. Check out the Brandon and Isaac show. And thank you for watching.